Hey everybody, this is an exciting day. The first in the series of the Astra Militarum Codex, which just came out today. And you're getting the first videos here now, you lucky, lucky little SOB. We're going to start simple because this is a massive codex. And we're going to start with the first thing you always start with in the game. Warlord Traits. So let's get right into it. We're looking at Warlord Traits for Astra Militarum. The first one is Grand Strategist. I'm just going to give you the whole fluff and reading. In the hands of this warlord, a map and a voxcaster can prove far more potent weapons than the swords and guns of his peers. Nominate D3 units in your primary detachment. These units gain the outflank special rule. Boom! That's Grand Strategist. Number two, Old Grudges. This warlord considers one particular foe his nemesis and has learned their weaknesses through decades of unremitting battle. During deployment, before deploying infiltrators and before, I assume, outflanking, <coughs> Sorry, got a little cold today. Um, and before scouts redeploy, choose one Warhammer 40,000 codex. The warlord and his unit have the preferred enemy special rule against all enemy units chosen from that codex. Now, this is important because when they say, well, geez, I'm playing one person, of course I'm just choosing that codex. Are you? Are you really? Because there are allies. There are allies. There are special detachments. There's all types of crazy stuff out there. Some people might be using two or three codexes on their side. You might be over there with an ally and with an Imperial Knight detachment and with an Inquisitor detachment and your main detachment. That's... Four codexes right there, right? You got your main one, you got your ally, you got your Inquisition, and you got your Imperial Knights. That right there would be four codexes. You pick one, and you get preferred enemy against everything from it. Bam! Draconian Disciplinarian. The Warlord believes firmly that to spare the lash will spoil the soldier and is never hesitant in handing out despotic punishments. His men fear their master's wrath more than any foe. And what does that do for you, you ask? Friendly units from Codex Astra Militarum within 12 inches of the Warlord do not take morale tests for suffering 25% or more casualties. Boom. That simple. Next, number four, implacable determination. This warlord is known for leading, grinding, inexorable advances and in the face of even the strongest opposition. Few impediments can check the momentum of his army's unstoppable offense. The warlord and his unit have relentless special rule for the game. Nice. Number five, bellowing voice. Every order given by this warlord is transmitted to his men with perfect clarity, ensuring those under his command know his will and act on it with deadly efficiency. Your warlord has voice of command special rule. If your warlord already has the voice of command special rule, he can issue orders to friendly units from Codex Astra Militarum that are within 18 inches of him. Bang! Which is kind of cool. I guess that means they're adding in the Scion orders uh, with that. Because we're going to get to another uh, video where I go over that there are six new special orders in this Cortex. And I know you want to know what they are. Finally, Master of Command. 
This warlord commands his forces with a masterful knowledge of their abilities, ensuring he gets the best from the men around him. Your warlord has the voice of command special rule. If your warlord already has the voice of command special rule, then he can issue one additional order each turn. Bing! That's it. Those are the Warlord traits for Astra Militarum. Keep watching. We got a lot more coming. Until then, bye!